What's good, BitRushers? My name's Kyler, and you're watching BitRush Crypto. Today's video is going to be our weekly NFT updates and overview, where I cover all the NFTs I'm looking forward to, the ones I've recently minted or picked up on the secondary market, and then any updates that we have with the projects we're still holding. I'm also going to add in something new this week with a little bit of NFT news at the beginning. So if everything sounds good, please do smash that thumbs up. If you're not already, consider subscribing to the channel. You can find links in the description for everything regarding today's video and my social media, Telegram, chat group, and Discord, and let's go. Okay, starting out with some news first, we had Time Magazine just released another NFT called Time Peace Community. You can see here they're like paintings and they have Build the Better Future attached to them on the side. They sold out rather quickly. I got a link in chat about this. I clicked on it. I was reading it before I could even figure out what it was and if I wanted to get one. They were sold out literally within minutes, guys. Um, the floor on these things is staying pretty high now at 0.88. And, you know, they have a pretty good uh, roadmap and everything. They're going to do more drops and you're going to be part of their, um, you know, community as a holder of this NFT. So I think that's really good. The main takeaway from here is that we're seeing big media outlets starting to push NFTs to the normies, right? The regular non-crypto people, the non-NFT people, they're starting to get in and, you know, this is like a gateway. So time is a gateway to millions and millions of people into crypto, into NFTs. So super bullish on this, even though I'm not picking one up, I don't care to have a uh, time NFT at all. It's not my thing, but really great to see that really great news. Next, we have Twitter rolling out Bitcoin tipping and verified NFT avatars. So we all know that Mr. Jack Dorsey there is a big Bitcoin um, believer. Hopefully he's into NFTs too. I haven't really seen much of him talking on NFTs, but this proves that he is, you know, a supporter of the industry. And so what you can now do is hook up your Bitcoin wallet address to your account and get tips or tip your favorite people. So they drop you a tweet on, you know, buy this altcoin or something, you make a thousand bucks, maybe you tip them a little bit. Whatever it is, guys, that's really cool that they're adding um, the ability to, you know, send Bitcoin or have your, just have your account, I guess, synced up. And then in addition, you're gonna be able to verify that you own um, the NFT that you have as your avatar. So right now you see have all kinds of people with like punks and the Board 8 Yacht Club. And those things cost quite a bit. So there's no way to tell is this guy with this avatar actually, you know, the real one. And the other thing is people like to, the spammers and scammers like to copy your profile pic, your PFP, and use it to try to impersonate you. So now if you have one that's verified, it'll be very hard for people to impersonate you without a verified one. There's no way they can get the same verified NFT as you, right? So this is gonna be really good to kind of stop some of that scammer stuff in the space and just make it really cool where it's like, yes, I actually do own this profile pic. So really hype on that news as well. Next, we have uh, Nissan GTR is releasing an NFT. And the thing about this one that confuses me is I'm not sure if the NFT costs $200,000 and you get a free car with it, or does the car cost $200,000 and you get a free NFT, right? So the way they're doing it, guys, is you buy this NFT for this GTR, which the thing looks absolutely freaking sweet, too, if you look at some of the art on this. It costs around two hundred grand, which is the price of the car and you get a free car so you buy an nft car and you get a real car in real life that's freaking amazing um first ones to do that like i said are you getting the free car the free nft i don't know but you're buying one of them getting the other one free i like to think of it as you're buying an nft and getting a free car that sounds a lot cooler uh super hyped on this news guys i expect to see a lot more companies start doing this where you buy um, a digital version of whatever the asset that you own and then hopefully you know this actually is the ownership so if you want to sell the car you have to give that person the NFT and then they own the car as well. So like the NFT is the title. I'm not sure if that's exactly how it's going to be, but that's probably the future. That's the way it should be is that if I want to buy your car, I get the NFT also. Um, really hyped on this news also. I love GTRs. They're super sweet. Um, you know, if any of you guys are Fast and Furious fans, the Skyline and all that. So uh, yeah, really cool brand here doing big things in the NFT space. Moving right along, we recently had some news of the very first Substra. Um, punks here the first uh, nfts over on this network you can pick them up with ksm kusama 
So this is super bullish to me right now, guys, because basically this means that polka dot NFTs are not too far down the road, okay? Um, that's all I'm going to say on that. This project has some really cool stuff going where if you hold this and some of their tokens or something else, you're going to actually earn a percentage of the network fees. Um, so definitely recommend looking into this if you're into that type of stuff, if you want to hold it long term and get residual income. Uh, I'm not going to cover a lot of it here, just want to bring up the news and let you guys do your own research. Moving right along, we saw the big dog. Snoop is now on the blockchain. He came out first as a whale. There was some news that he was an NFT whale. I think he has like 17 million in NFTs currently. They didn't say if that's the value of his NFT portfolio or that's what he had invested. So I'm not sure, you know, maybe he invested like 5 million and now it's up to 17 million. Or does he actually have 17 million invested and it's actually worth a whole lot more? They didn't really specify on that, but either way, um, Snoop is a whale on the blockchain here with the NFTs. And right after that news we dropped, he's coming to uh, the sandbox. So I'm hyped on that. You guys know I'm a big supporter and believer of the sandbox. I have some land there. Actually, most likely looking to pick up a little bit more land for the pumpkins project. We'll talk about that later. If you guys want a pass to come party with Snoop on the blockchain in the sandbox in the metaverse, um, right now they're going for about one ETH. So you guys can pick one of these up and be one of the thousand people to hang out with Snoop. And I'm sure they're going to do some cool drops for all the people. So you'll get some, some voxel gear, whatever. I'm um, going to be really hype. I think you actually get the three Snoop um, right here yeah i think you get the three snoop avatars so that's pretty cool and then there's some other stuff like if you see in here this car is cool too but the one where's snoop's car yeah right there that thing is pimp right that's the pimp ride that's what you want to be whipping around on the metaverse in right um so yeah just kind of cool um again seeing a big celebrity get in on nfts get in on the metaverse is really good news for us guys celebrities like snoop have a ton of followers on twitter and instagram and everything like that so he brings a lot of people that might not you know normally get into crypto get into sandbox get into nfts so again this is really great news for the space all right, so that's everything on the news. Moving right along, I wanna um, cover a few projects that I'm looking forward to in the future. This one right here, Organic Growth Crystals Reef, is probably going to be one of the biggest projects when they release. They don't have a release date yet. They're building up hype, and I can tell you this thing is gonna be freaking awesome. Um, just looking at the website and looking at everything it has, it's going to change the way that people in the industry are doing things. This is going to be a revolutionary project that literally after this, like NFT projects are going to have to step their game up because um, this is just amazing. So let's go through it right here. They're going to be like these crystals. OK, so um, just having like crystal structures and being um, drawn with AI in general is pretty cool. But basically what happens, I'll get into it right here is when you get it, you get this like node, this geode or whatever, and then it hatches, obviously, you don't know what one you're gonna get, and that hatches whatever forms, launch, you know, whatever, when it mints and it reveals, it turns into this crystalline structure. And then if you sell it or trade it or send it, I believe any kind of like action on the blockchain with the crystal is going to transform it. So it can be transformed and get like different pieces that come off of it up to seven different times. And then after a certain amount of time or after seven transformations, it gets locked. And so this leads to a lot of interesting things like, will it be rare if it never transformed and it just stayed in one wallet and stayed the exact same the whole time? Will it be rare if it has a couple different things on it? Will it be rare if it has all seven? What will people be looking for? And then in addition to that, just you know the fact that it changes and adds on, the way that it does it is very revolutionary. So there's a bunch of different things right here. It has wallet id so your wallet id is going to randomly generate you know some sort of characteristics then there's going to be transfer time and block number so again these are going to be plugged in and create like random things based on what time of day it is or you know what day of the month or whatever and then what block number you're getting written on um, the amount of past transactions so this could be um, the amount of times that this has traded or all of them I'm not sure on that but either way adding in another element here and then we get down here wallet balance so um, if you're a whale are you going to get like a crazy rare like gold growth that no one else gets unless you have a thousand ETH in your wallet or you know a hundred thousand ETH in your wallet 
or are if you have like no ETH in your wallet like me, you just put enough to make your transactions every time you buy an NFT, are you gonna get like the worst one? So that's kind of weird, uh, but also kind of cool because then you know if you are a whale, you're gonna get something even rarer just for being a whale. That's kind of like a bonus reward just for holding your ETH. Um, then NFT art amount, so how many different ones there are, or how many different things have been traded of each one, they're all gonna add unique characteristics and change how the crystal forms, okay? And then ETH balance dynamics, so um, again, probably like on the contract or who you're trading with or whatever, and then the NFT amount, so how many NFTs you hold, if you hold 10 NFTs in your wallet and you get buy another one, do you get like this mega growth, you know, silver, gold, diamond, whatever their rarest one is, it's just really amazing, guys. Going through this just has me super hyped. And as I said, like the crystals are cool, but what I think is, you know, even cooler here is what they're building with it. The fact that it transforms and, you know, different things play a role in how it transforms and what it's going to look like in the end um, based on, you know, just that it's going to be locked and it's going to be based on, you know, all the different transactions or different things. And each one will truly be unique, not just randomly generated, but what happens to it after it. It's generated and that is the big thing that i'm super bullish on for this project guys we do have the ogmc outlaw gals motorcycle club launching the 29th for pre-sale and the 30th for public mint if you guys got a key if you were in their discord chat you can go and mint your key and you have to do that before obviously the 29th because that key is your pass to get into the pre-sale if you have a silver key you get two pre-sale mints if you have a gold key, you get three pre-sale mints. And then keeping that key in your wallet is gonna be good because there's gonna be other prizes and drops and things that they do for people that hold those keys, especially if you have a key plus a gal, it's gonna equal some sort of um, you know entry to other things. So that's really good. Looking forward to this project, guys. If you guys want, there will be links in the description below. I'm not sure if you can still get in on pre-sale, but I believe they have a different thing that you can grind for if you get to like level 10 for chat or whatever. Um, so hop in there and find out a little bit more about this project. Super bullish on this one. Going to continue to update you guys. Moving along, we had Mr. Crypto. I had mentioned this one last week. This one, again, is launching on the 1st of October. I'm um, really looking forward to this one with all the Monopoly guys. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want, there will be links for this one in the description below. And again, looking forward to this project. Next, I have a little bit of an underground project I wanted to let you guys know about. So if you guys come on over on Twitter, you can see NFT Tooth Fairy or NFT, and it's NFT Tooth Fairy here, um, 1T. And this is a like top secret project that's gonna launch maybe this week, maybe next week. I don't know exactly when it's gonna launch. I was told it might launch soon. And so if you guys wanna come over and check it out, it is by the artist Andy Poon. He's done several artworks on the blockchain for like Board Ape Yacht Club derivatives, for the the visitors derivatives and i believe a couple others he's actually going to also work with us on our crypto pumpkins project so i'm super hyped on that to have him on board and making us a custom piece so again come over here and check him out on twitter guys and make sure you follow this project should be pretty big and just real quick here's some of the work that andy did for the visitors looks like this is another dragon project that he has going with uh, bushido and here's the piece that he did for Board 8 Yacht Club. So just to show you guys a couple of his artworks, I'm really excited on his project and really excited to have him part of the pumpkins. Speaking of crypto pumpkins, we are launching here, guys, October 8th. So just a couple weeks here till we do go live. I've started to reveal some of the sneak peeks, some of the traits in Discord. And we're going to be doing a free um, pre-sale giveaway key. So if you get a skull key, you have access to the pre-sale. We're going to be giving one away every single day in Discord until um, we launch here on the 8th. So go over here and hop in Discord. We're also doing weekly NFT giveaways over on Twitter. So go over there on Twitter and you guys can find those weekly giveaways. All you have to do is retweet and tag a few friends and you have a chance to win um, whatever NFT that we're giving away that week. In addition, we're also doing an art and meme contest. And the art and meme contest is going to get you guys a free pre-sale pumpkin, okay? You're not going to have to pay. We're going to cover gas and everything. It's going to get minted straight to your wallet. So there's two winners on that one. One for the best artwork and one for the funniest meme. So all you guys have to do is download the pumpkin here. I've given you a blank one. 
go to work get your artwork on it drop it in the um, meme contest there in um, discord so you have to be in discord to drop it also tag us on twitter if you want um, tweet it we're going to start tweeting these out we have a few submissions already um, so we're going to be doing that throughout the week is tweeting out all of our submissions if you guys want your artwork um, you know out in front of people too in addition i'm going to be tweeting it all out you guys have plenty of chances to win lots of good stuff lots of nft drops um, pre-sale drops in discord art contests we're going to be doing a bunch of amazing stuff in there guys so hop in the discord chat with us we just got a um, bunch of new mods in there from my other group my, my telegram's usually where we're all chatting it's usually popping off quite a few people in there all day we're going to hopefully navigate that over to the pumpkins discord and keep it hype for this project so guys hop in that discord if you want you can get in the telegram too but for this month the place you want to be is going to be pumpkins discord so i just did a video on this project high stakes roller it is a casino um, based on the solana blockchain and so if you get one of these you have a chance to win up to like three or four times a day they're going to do drawing so i was super hyped on that project minted a few of these if you guys want to have a video on that go check it out coming over to my uh first wallet here my bitrush crypto wallet I, I do have a nerdy coder clones and this is from daniel at hashlips next we have the shamu so this was a project that i covered briefly me and my son um, built this project on the Polygon network, actually following Hashlips' tutorial over um, on his channel. So again, thank you to him. And my son's actually sold a few of these, so thank you for any of you guys that have supported him. They're only 16 Matic for these Shamus, and there's some really cool ones. And we named a couple of them after celebrities and YouTubers and different stars and things like that. So it should be a fun project. He's having a lot of fun with it. Um, again, for him, it was just fun to really like build something and do something like this. So. Okay, moving back to my main account here, um, we picked up a couple of these zombie toads off Mint yesterday. I thought they were really cool. I saw them. I got like a half brain blue one, so that one's kind of rare. And then this lime green one with the crown brain I think is kind of rare. I don't know. I like both of them. So I'm keeping one of them. I'm going to keep this neon green one. And I think this one's actually the rare one, but I'm trying to sell them for 0.25 if any guys want to pick that up. I picked up a couple of these geomes and what really interested me about this project is everybody has an avatar project but there aren't really any like banner projects right for like Twitter banner or, um, YouTube banner or anything like that so when I saw this I said oh this is kind of like cool because it's going the other way you could use this as a banner and that's actually what I did I changed my Twitter banner to the other one that I have there that blue and green one um, so these are really cheap guys and they're genitive art they're kind of like similar to the Fredenzas or whatever, you know, where it's created mathematically equation on a computer. So I thought that was cool. It might be something that pops off. I believe there's only 2000 of these and I saw a bunch of big whales uh, minting a bunch of these and putting them in their wallet. So I picked up a few of them. I think they're cool. Let's see what happens. Moving right along, we did have our Doom Souls. I minted two of those. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in the last video or not, or I probably mentioned I was going to mint some. We did get two of them. Um, this one right here is actually like 600 rarity in the 600s and this one is 1500 so out of 2500 that's not bad this one's a little bit less than half but this one's up in like the top 20 percent rarity um, it's got that censored and then the glasses and the bandana so pretty cool on both of those we have the street dog so i picked up a street dog on the secondary market um, i got the the shetland sheep dog so um, I'm not really a big dog person to be honest with you guys. I, I always had like cats growing up We had dogs a little bit later, but I was always just kind of a cat person never really been into dogs, but um, Whatever I picked this up. They look cool. They're like hip-hop dogs and everything like that So we'll see where this project goes I think you can like win different things and there's some sort of lottery aspect and possibly a party in Vegas to be part of So I thought that all sounded good and I decided I'd hop in on that one we have the Stoned Ape Saturn Club. So this is like a Simpsons style apes. Um, I really like that it was kind of Simpsons style. A lot of people like that. And then it has like the, the stoner aspects. There's all kinds of like joints and things in, in a couple of them. Um, I actually got two females and I think the females are rare. So that's kind of cool. One like gold one with the um, green bunny ears. And then this one has the gold grill with like a cooler background, I think. And then like a weird like... Um, tripped out skin there so both of those ended up being pretty good 
You can see here my donuts have not yet revealed. I'm actually not sure when these reveal, but they are still minting. If you guys want to pick one up, um, this is probably one of the most underhyped project out there. Uh, the art on these things are amazing, super funny. I really like the project. I think it's going to be just great memes and really good artwork. So, you know, hopefully they get a little bit more hype here. Hopefully some people see this video and go mint them. They're not that expensive and go mint a donut, guys. Next, I picked up a Wicked Loot, so I'm not sure exactly what this Wicked project was, but I saw, you know, all the loot stats and things like that, and it kind of had, like, funny ones, and it also had your horoscope. And I went and checked out Scorpio because I'm a Scorpio. My birthday's coming up here pretty soon in October. And the, um, this was the only Scorpio on the market for under, like, half an ETH. It was, you know, fairly cheap here at .026, so I picked it up. And I was like, boom, I got my Scorpio and there's no more on the market now for under half an ETH. Felt like that was a good buy. I actually need to do a little bit more research on this project and see what it's all about. But um, another one of these loot projects and this one has horoscope, so I'm in. My Goober did reveal. My Goober is actually awesome, guys. Like I said, I've been super hyped on this Goober project. Look, it's animated. It bubbles. It moves. I got the one with the hot dog and the clock and the star eyes. And he's got like this, um, I don't know, weird helmet with like feathers and jewels and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And he's actually got like the hobo outfit. So kind of matches me like me and my me i am my avatar or whatever that saying is guys right like i just wear like the basic white tee this guy's got his basic white tee on he's got his hat and his star eyes so cool we're cool uh, i really like this goober i really like this project they're only like halfway done minting still i think they're at like seven thousand minted out of fifteen thousand. so again another project that has great artwork um, great things going probably going to be an amazing project but just not really that much hype behind it if you guys want to get in on something on the ground level i think that's a really good one a really good buy that you know maybe in a couple months from now this project takes off and you wish you had got one while they're cheap zero x vampires um this one's the floor starting to move up a little bit still looking to hold um, hopefully, you know, through Halloween, we'll see after that if I want to sell it or not. I really like this little badass vampire chick. I'm probably just going to keep her in my wallet for a while. That's pretty much everything from last week. So I haven't really done much else other than that. I know that is quite a bit of buys here, um, this week, but yeah, so that's what I got going on. There aren't many updates with the other projects. Um, the wanderers, we're still waiting to get those planet passes and planets. So if you guys want to be a part of the Wanderers project, you still have time to go pick up yourself a Wanderer and you could get dropped a planet pass and a planet for holding those Wanderers. The floors are rising. I think it's up to almost a half an ETH at this point for one. So definitely super hyped on that project. The Crypto Cannabis Club didn't really have any major updates or anything this week, but they did announce that they're doing um, in-person like meetup clubs. You have to have five in-person real-life tokers, and you can form like a chapter, I believe is what they're calling it. And so we have a few digital people in my uh, Telegram group. I believe there's three or four of us that have tokers. So to even form like a digital club, I believe we're going to need one more toker. So if you guys are in on this project and you want to get in with us and breed with us, hop in the Telegram chat. And also, if any of you guys are in New Mexico, I live in New Mexico, um, down in the southwest here of the United States. If any tokers out there are in NM, hit me up in Telegram or on Twitter or whatever, and let's see if we can get five of us out here in New Mexico holding tokers and let's form a real-life breeding club. But that's basically everything for today's video, guys. Again, I hope you did enjoy the content. If so, please smash a thumbs up on this video. Please share it on social media. It does help with the algorithm. Leave a comment on today's video for a chance to win a pre-sale pumpkin key. If you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and do it. And pound that thumbs up. Happy crypto. Let's get that coin.